I do not belong to the sun or the moon. In ninth grade, 14 year old freak frustrations manifested themselves in a need for transformation. I wanted fur to prickle forth from my skin like hypodermic flower stems. Needed my voice to lower and break, ripping vocal cords and slicing growls on its double four wooden pain. Spine crackling, ribs snapping, muscles toiling and troubling into new shapes and strengths needed to be bound by this lycanthropic curse and quadrupedal ecstasy. How? Pulling at the moon. Driven by artists. In all her virginal, obviously lesbian, werewolf-sanctioned femininity, she was the only god I'd ever prayed to. Artemis, please, teach me your ways. Wild moon dances and gravitational tidal flows in and out of my lupine body. Let me hunt for my loves in the fictitious wilds. Teach me the secrets of this womanhood I was born with, Artemis. Why can't I bear to be a woman? But she wouldn't answer. And I came to discover that because of my doubts of the correspondence between female body and something else mine, she had abandoned me. I do not belong to the sun or the moon. When I was 16, new frustrations manifested themselves in a need for transformation. Girls over here, boys over there. Hair, please, go forth from my chin. Good morning, girls, voice. Please break lower and growl. Ladies first. Body, please square out and grow. You are such a strong young woman. Breasts, please be bound by this curse. Be bound by this curse. Be bound by this cursed tensor bandage which will crack my spine, snap my ribs, shorten my breath, and make me feel animal. I looked for Apollo, twin brother of Artemis, driver of the sun, protector of young men and masculinity, portrayed as the personification of perfection. Apollo. Please, make me into a man. I was no longer praying, for I knew in my two years older wisdom that he was nothing but a metaphor, but I still begged him to take my physical me away. This world of Apollo scares me, though. It scalds moon skin all around me with fiery sneers, trying to turn my feminine cohorts into something that is not something sometimes I used to join in, trying to be one of the Apollo bros. Solar flaring behind the backs of lovers and friends. I do not belong to the sun or the moon. Solar Apollo is so corrupt among society's blatant misogyny that I cannot relate to him. Lunar Artemis will not have me, and I will not have her, for she is my body, and I want to transform. I am at odds with this binary. And well, uh, I'm at odds with this binary. And while I quince when she or ma'am are shot in my face by mistaken slipping lips, I do not want to be what man means to so many. I do not adhere to these black and white extremities. I do not belong to the sun or the moon, and I do not want to. I just want to belong to myself.